Welcome to Supercharging Your Network Simulations with Jupyter Notebooks. So this is an image taken uh, in a parking lot outside of a Ford plant in Kentucky. These are a bunch of pickup trucks. They're almost fully built. They're just waiting on a few chips before they can be shipped out and driven. And this chip shortage is affecting pretty much all industries, and ours is no exception. So I'm sure you've faced long lead times ordering hardware from vendors. And just like these cars can't be driven yet, you probably can't test, uh, test or uh, validate features on actual hardware. And that's where network simulators can, are, can be a very uh, valuable tool. So we'll start off with an overview of a few network simulators on the market. Then we'll introduce Jupyter Notebooks and talk about how you can use them to interact with your simulator. And then we'll proceed to a demo of this. So the first uh, network simulator that I want to talk about is PyVXR. So this is a Cisco product. It's the, a Python API for uh, orchestrating virtual topologies of the Cisco 8000 emulator. So Basically, you'll define your topology in a Python dictionary here. So you can define how many routers you have, uh, specify what image they have, and it'll define connections between these virtual routers. It is free and available, but only available to prospective Cisco 8000 customers. Next, we have uh, GNS3. So this has been around for a while. Uh, it's a free and open source tool. Uh, it uses a GUI to create your virtual topologies. So you can drag and drop uh, routers, switches, uh, PCs, and it has a control panel at the top to start and stop your simulation. And what's pretty cool about this is you can install it on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. You don't necessarily need a super beefy server. Another option is EvenG. Similar to GNS3, it's also a GUI-based uh, simulator. Um, it, ha it's, it has both free and paid offerings. So some cool features in the, pay in the paid versions, you can you do hot links, and there's integrated Wireshark capture. So one newer uh, networking simulator I want to talk about is called Kubernetes Network Emulation. So don't be intimidated by the name. You don't need to know Kubernetes at all to use this tool. Um, all you really need to know is that Kubernetes is a platform for managing, man, managing containerized uh, virtual routers, or in this case, for virtual routers. So basically, you would go to a vendor, and you'll get a containerized version of a virtual router. And you use KNE to basically launch and manage the connections between these different, uh, virt these different containerized virtual routers. It's a free, completely free and open source tool. So here's an example of a KNE configuration file. Um, it's defined in the text proto uh, file format. So you specify things like name, uh, model, operating system, the configuration file of the containerized virtual router, uh, point to some ports that you want to forward to the container, and then uh, finally, you have to define connections between these uh, containerized routers. So because different vendors have different names for their uh, interfaces, you have to map these names to a name that KNE will use. So for this example, 400 giggy will becomes ETH1. So just an overview of these options that I just discussed. We have PyVXR, which supports um, Cisco either running uh, iOS XR or Sonic as a network operating system. If you don't know, Sonic is an open source network operating system de developed by Microsoft. Uh, the images uh, of these virtual routers are provided for the Cisco 8000. And you can define the topology either in the Python API that I just discussed or with YAML configuration files. GNS3 and EvenG are both both have multi-vendor support, but you do have to obtain the images 
from a vendor. So bring your own, bring your own images. You can configure both of these with the GUI, as I discussed, but also they do have REST, you can also use REST, REST APIs to uh, configure these topologies. Uh, Joe Clark mentioned CML in his presentation, and just like GNS3 and EVNG, uh, it is GUI-based and it has multi-vendor support, but it provides you with all the Cisco images. And we have k and &E, which, where you br bring your own containerized version of these virtual routers. Okay, next let's talk about Jupyter Notebooks. So what is a Jupyter Notebook? The Jupyter, a Jupyter Notebook is essentially an interactive document which combines text, images, and code. The name Jupyter comes from the three core languages which it start which it supported from uh, conception, which is Julia, Python, and R. And Jupyter has become a standard in the world of data science. So with data science, they, data scientists use Jupyter notebooks to describe their process. So they'll start off with text describing different steps that they use. So in the beginning, they can talk about um, data validation and have some code, code below that where you can run it and validate some data. And, and the, a real, and let's move on. So let's talk about how the Jupyter Notebooks can interact with your network simulators. It, it's become a standard in data science and we wanted to bring this into, into the world of networking. So with simulator APIs, we can, we can run cells in Jupyter Notebooks to spin up virtual topologies. So us at Cisco have created a whole catalog of Jupyter Notebooks using PyVXR to, using PyVXR. And these, these notebooks describe and document important networking concepts and processes. So you can kind of think of this as live documentation. So a cool, uh, neat thing about Jupyter Notebooks is you can launch it in a web UI, so you don't, need to, you don't necessarily need to install an IDE or anything to launch it. Uh, it'll just launch within a server and you can access it on port 8888. And it's just like an office, office document, just click uh, create a new script, create a new notebook. So let's get into it a little bit more. This is an example of one of our Jupyter notebooks. So as you can see, it's a combination of uh, text, images, and code. So here is what we call a kernel. A kernel defines like what um, what programming language is within these code cells. We have a toolbar for, for running these code cells. And we have images here. So you can create rich text with Markdown here to describe a process and images. And you can have uh, snippets of code which you can run within the document to validate the process as you're, as you're learning about it. One second, let's move on to the demo.
Okay. Wait, you're not able to see the screen. Okay, all good now. So, as I mentioned, this is an interactive document. So, you have rich text, so right here we have markdown. We have images. And we have snippets of code, which we can run within the document. So, just like any like, markdown file, on the left we have a like, table of contents. And right here, we have, uh, I basically just created a simple guide on how to configure ISIS on SR Linux. I'm a Cisco engineer, but this is a vendor neutral conference, so decided to use SR Linux. So step one is creating our virtual topology. So as I mentioned before, we can spin up a virtual topology with simulator APIs. So in this example, I used KNE to spin up a virtual topology connecting three SR Linux nodes in a line. So a cool thing about uh, KNE is this virtual topology can be parsed into a Python object. So right here, we're parsing this into a, uh, this topology object. Like so, and we can, if we want, we can modify this object. We can take uh, members of this object and change them. The next line will bring up our virtual topology. I've done this beforehand, so I won't run it right now. And then if we run this, uh, this line will get, we'll get the uh, IP addresses and ports to connect to these uh, containerized SR Linux. Um, nodes. So here I'm using NetMiko to connect to each of the uh, SR Linux virtual nodes. So every time I click this play button, it runs an individual cell. And we can see that it's running because this uh, circle is gray and it says busy at the bottom. So after it connects to the node, I just have it send a command to show the platform right here. So next step in this guide is con configuring IP addressing and bringing up the ports. So example, we have a list of uh, text for configuration. And we can apply the configuration also with the NetMiko library. So we can see all changes have been committed. We can verify that these changes have been committed by having a node one ping node two. It's a success. Have a node two ping node three. And it's also a success. So next, we can configure ISIS. So we have the output in real time of, 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 of committing these uh, changes. And we can verify the adjacency and routing tables. And finally, we can tear down the topology as well. So this is a really simple example. Um, but you can use notebooks to create live documentations of much more complicated topics. And with, with Jupyter Notebooks and the simulator APIs, you can always uh, create a consistent virtual topology for running these commands. So every time you open up these notebooks and step through them, you'll get the same output. So
So you can use this to automate the creation of your virtual test bed, and you can use the Jupyter Notebooks to design and share some specific uh, use cases with your colleagues. So instead of documenting networking processes and concepts in a wiki and copying and pasting it into simulators or hardware, you can use Jupyter Notebooks to automate part of this process and then uh, go step by step in, in with live documentation and running these commands one by one. Also, if you're not an amazing programmer, uh, you can use Jupyter Notebooks as like a stepping point into writing more complex scripts because you can break down the problem piece by piece, uh, run one cell, verify it's expected, and then move on to writing the next cell. And between these, you can write more in-depth uh, comments or documentations than writing like comments in a Python file. So we've already created, a as I mentioned before, we've created a catalog of notebooks, and it's free and open source. So for some examples, we have setting up your network for transport, secure networks, traffic management, network monitoring, APIs, utilities. And next time you're thinking about writing documentations, Consider using Jupyter Notebooks because you can automate uh, creation of virtual topologies. You can then use that to document specific use cases. And you can share these Jupyter Notebooks with your other colleagues to, to educate them further. And because of the uh, nature of Jupyter Notebooks, uh, of it being launched in uh, web UI and on one port on a server, you can collaborate on these notebooks together. So, as I mentioned before, all of our notebooks are use PyVXR as of the moment. So if you want access, you can contact the, your Cisco account team or myself. Um, but you can you really use any simulator or any API to create notebooks yourself. And if you want to, can you uh, please consider contributing these new notebooks to our GitHub. Then finally, I have some resources for you to check out some of the simulators and, uh, that I've discussed, as well as our uh, Git repository. Thank you.